this large kidney is big, one big surgery. Typically here, although some other centers do it the other way around, we did the transplant first. We let the patient recover from the transplant. And then we took the kidneys out typically six months, eight months later. Now, after years of doing this operation and feeling myself, feeling fairly confident that we could do this safely with very, very low complication rates, patients started asking me, why can't we do this at the same time? Because especially some patients with very large polycystic kidneys, uh, they're miserable. And until you take their kidneys out, they are not going to be happy, even though they have a new kidney that is working great. So as I became more confident about the possibility of doing this is when I started to say, okay, I think the risk is small enough that we can offer to do the transplant, take the kidneys out first and do the transplant right away in the same surgery. And that's when we started in 2014. And this is what this study was looking at. The difference between the patients that have all this five hour operation versus the one that just had a kidney transplant. And we compare those two groups, the ones that had relatively smaller kidneys, they have no symptoms. They, have all, they had also polycystic kidney disease. Uh, and we took their kidney, we did a transplant, but they didn't need to have their kidneys out. Essentially, the outcomes are the same. They both patients groups do very well. Uh, the hospital stay is on average one day longer for the patients that undergo the big surgery. So, so if our average hospital stay for a regular kidney transplant without an nephrectomy is three days, for these patients is four days, so one extra day, which is very reasonable. There's a slightly higher hospitalized hospitalization rate, but in terms of long-term, the difference really are, are no difference in terms of complications and other things.